Yes, the title says gaming on the Snapdragon 865 processor. Yeah, we got it. I wanna thank my boy JV Tech T for this. Now, let's jump in. So Qualcomm finally announced the A65 processor. This is gonna be the main processor next year in all Android top tier devices. And of course, we'll be powering the Galaxy S11. But we're talking about gaming and we finally got to see how games run on 865. So Qualcomm reached out and they said they were gonna have benchmarking. My buddy JV Tech T was there to actually give me footage. So I'm very thankful for that. Definitely go check out his channel. And they said, hey, do you wanna benchmark or do you wanna play games? We we're like, look, you guys are my peeps. You guys wanna see games. So we got some PUBG mobile footage, which of course should give us some indication of where this actually is. Now they were using a reference design uh, device and uh, in terms of settings, we maxed out the settings here, except for going for uh, Ultra HDR because the display is not, uh, of course, uh, a 2K display. Now, that being said, that's the only thing. So, you know what? I'm just gonna shut up and you guys can check out some PUBG Mobile gameplay. So that should give you some indication of where it is. This thing runs really well, it ran smooth. Talking to JV Tech T, he said it ran very, very well. Uh, there's also a performance mode, which you could use to actually improve the performance, aka like a performance boost or like an overdrive for the processor. So think of it as giving you more processing capabilities to actually play games that are graphically more intensive because you've got that 25% GPU improvement from the 855 to this, 865, 30% uh, CPU improvement as well. But you've also got so many more features that make this worthwhile. So for instance, 865 processor supports uh, 144 hertz displays. As we know, the Galaxy S11 is rumored to have a 120 hertz display, so that's nice to see. And devices like the ROG phone, uh, of course, will probably bump up to the 144 hertz uh, display as well. Now, this device, also supports uh, new codecs in terms of audio codecs for uh, Bluetooth supporting up to 32 kilohertz 
which giving you which should give you better audio while you're gaming or even listening to music as well so that's also a big plus. Now, uh, the 865 processor has updatable GPU drivers, so we can get better driver updates. Think of it like your, your PC where you get driver updates to improve your, your, your GPU performance as well, so, so the way the games look and play. That's a cool thing as well. So there are a lot of features with the 865 processor that adds so much more uh, to its gaming templates uh, as well. So that's nice to see and nice to experience there. Now, a couple of things the 865 has that I do like, uh, it also supports uh, the new 3D Max ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, bigger display area. So you can use two fingers, you can place your finger in any uh, part of that area. You don't have to have a specific spot anymore to unlock your device. That also is cool. There's a whole 5G component, uh, being able to, of course, stream your games better. Games like games, you know, services like xCloud or Stadia or GeForce Now. Uh, those are the kind of things you can do and definitely check out our videos and all those as well. But I like what this processor can do. I can't wait to see it in devices like the uh, Galaxy S11 line or even the ROG Phone 4, which is of course gaming centric for people like me and you, as well as also the new Rio Red 4. So I can't wait to see it and uh, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the 865 processor gaming? And if there's anything you want to see when we start seeing devices that can game, uh, proper devices out there, leave your thoughts down below. I'll try and play some of the games besides my usual Call of Duty and PUBG to give you a good idea of what we're seeing. So thank you very much, guys, and always enjoy your entertainment.